Today, my friends, we hit the ground running. No sitting here monologuing for the next 20 minutes about things that we will never achieve. We are going to go in hard and fast, full-on Insano style. We know this shit works. You saw what it did yesterday. And since then, it has had one or two upgrades. It was unstoppable before. Now it's double unstoppable. I asked at the end of yesterday's episode, though, what people thought our weakest aspect is. What are we going to struggle with the most, especially those of you who have actually completed Save Our Shit, done the end game before, because this is something I've never touched. Everybody said the same thing. The prevailing wisdom was that our crew is going to get shredded. So I've decided to cut out the middleman and have our people repeatedly fail surgery here, apparently. You shits. But to be fair, it's understandable, given that we, um, don't really have many skilled doctors going on. So before the big battle for the Arco Pillars begins, I want to go through the entire crew, make sure we have coagulators, stone skin glands, pain stoppers, uh, healing enhancers. Did I already say that one? And then hopefully, assuming we get enough time here before it all kicks off, I also wanted to give them all two bionic arms, two bionic legs, and a bionic spine to make them better at combat. Unfortunately, surgery isn't exactly... Um, <laughs> isn't exactly going well. So while we wait for the final touches on our people then, I've adjusted the ship around a little bit, as you might notice. This middle section was just solar panels, or at least it was for a while now. It's all radiators. I thought, given that I now know we can double up on radiators and they work, even if they are overlaid with one another, I thought we could just fill this middle section out. Didn't have enough resources to finish the entire thing. Made the power core of the ship a little bit more effective. Then I also built an antimatter reactor, along with four of the antimatter thrusters as well. The only problem is, even though they themselves cost no exotic particles to build, they do cost exotic particles to fuel. Uh, exotic particles that our people dumped right into the reactor. <laughs> the worst part is all those exotic particles got us a total of 14 hours worth of fuel. So, you know, what? I'm going to turn that off and maybe just enable it if and when we need it. Can we, can we, can we disable it though? Hey, bucko, come turn this off. We're certainly in safer hands. That's, that's a fact. But I did have a... A big brain idea. We have the equipment reinforcer, and I think you know where I'm going with this one. Bear in mind, we got 5,000 components and 11,000 steel. I, I have to try it. If we take off the siege breaker armor and the siege breaker helmet, can we upgrade those? Oh, and also worth mentioning, I've given people, at least some of them anyway, the Omnisire has one. Uh, I've changed their outfit so that they should now have shield belts rather than ammo packs and mini turret packs rather than exoskeleton frames can we take bucko's armor insert it into the reinforcer oh shit and then reinforce it we need advanced components which we're lacking right now plasteel uranium components and we can just straight up increase we can increase his shield max energy make it so they never get through a shield we can increase the sharp armor so any enemies with with regular kinetic bullet weapons they would never get through oh shit <laughs> oh, i have to try it okay okay slight change of plan then we need to find a mechanoid ship and blow that up so we can get some exotic particles we need to find any ship and blow it up so we can get advanced components make bucko untouchable twin spine destroyer that sounds good Let's hope it's a mechanoid ship so I can actually fuel these freaking engines. Given that we removed the nuclear engines to build these engines, we're now slower overall. Hello? Oh, really? Unbelievable. Outplayed again. <laughs> we can't operate on the war casket, so this is as good as these guys are going to get, which is to say not fantastic. Uh, yeah, let's just get everything cured because we have we, we have enough to do it, right? So let's let's do at least something with these guys. Give them the best fighting chance we can. I don't know why I can't operate on them anymore. Because apparently we have operated on them at some point. Unless I gave him a stone skin gland before we glued him into the casket. We might have captured him like that to be fair. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Trauma Savant if that's okay. Poor Neo though. Poor Neo, there was barely anything left. My god. Alright, there you go. Look at this guy. He's going to be back up to fighting form. And the one benefit we could always give to these guys is to upgrade their guns. so that they in, in uh, Reinforcer that is. I think I've got to get rid of the laser miniguns. They're just not very good. They could fall down suppressing fire or whatever, but it's just not good enough for punching through enemy armor, especially when we're against the mechanoids. I mean, that's it. What else can I do at this stage? We haven't got the exotic particles to build the uh, to build the better shield generators, though I would love to do that as soon as possible. New from Bucko Drink. Audio in HD. Hello. So it turns out, I don't know how much of this episode so far is usable. <laughs> uh, might have had my OBS settings reset by the new update. So, 
That's really good. Thanks, OVS. <laughs> I've strapped on a few more engines to the ship, by which I mean a shitload more engines to the ship. And I'm hoping that will be enough. How are we doing for fuel? Still pretty damn good, actually. Let's... Oh, mechanoid sphere. Oh, no, we saw that before. It was... <laughs> it was terrible. I, I see mechanoid and think, oh, exotic particles. Let's go for it. Let us attempt to engage the ancient terraforming station and recover an Arco Tech pillar. One of the four final goals of this series, of this campaign. There it is right there. Arco Tech pillar alpha. It does have hit points. Makes you wonder what happens if you destroy it. Hello, sir? What the fuck is this? Okay, they're not that well armed then. Oh, that's not terrible. A lot of Arco shields. Where are their heat vents? So they haven't got many heat vents either. We've got to be very careful. We just don't end up destroying the the Arco pillar, right? Well, this doesn't look that terrible. Okay, Bucko. Let's give him hell. Let's give him hell, big man. We might as well advance, get within laser range. Is everything fueled? It is fueled. I remember to actually set target fuel level this time. <laughs> right. First things first. What do we want to go for? I think we want to take out Let's take out some of these rail guns. Let's knock those out of the out of the picture. Oh. Oh, it's very laggy. L knock those out of the picture, and then we're in. Now, apparently, this thing can fire right off the bat. I mean, useless, given that given that the shields are up, but still something to consider. Wow, they've got a lot of shields there, haven't they? Holy crap. Grid excess stored is... They're going to run out of power. We could just sit where we are now, tank the hits, and... Ooh, our heat isn't as good as I expected to say that we, um... Say that we went pretty hard on radiators there. Okay, okay, this isn't... This isn't bad. Oh, the heat. Wow. How are they fleeing? Are you telling me this one ship can push all of this? <laughs> I suppose it's an attempt. They're not going to be able to outrun us now, though. Holy crap. Wow. Let's see how this goes. Capacitors are... They are still gaining power, though. Look. Even though their grid excess is, is underloaded. Not entirely sure how that works. That's okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, bucko. Don't worry. We got this. I mean, worst case scenario, if we don't have it, we just run away. Oh, we've got it. Oh, yeah. They're already they're already doomed. Right. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, big man. Right. Let's go uh, weapons. And um, then uh, fire one of those. We'll take out this thing. Just knock out all of their offensive weapons right off the bat. That would be fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, was that laser necessary? I feel like that was a little little rude. Oh, here they go. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Fantastic shots. That was an incredible shot. Okay. And then we select uh, all weapons again. I know you don't have to do this. You can pick a weapon at a time. Be a bit more sensible about things. You know, we could fire like a volley over to this one. A volley over to that one. Knock them out simultaneously. Bucko doesn't do anything by half measure. It's, it's everything or nothing. Okay. Love the Omnicide just kind of hanging around outside the shields there, you idiot. Come on. Fire another volley, bucko. Will their shields come back on? Oh, well, the probably shields won't come back on at this point. Let's be honest. Nice. There it is. Boom. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you. And then finally, this one in the middle. Well, I mean, if this is one quarter of our end goal out the way, I think we're in good hands. Everybody laughed at the Ice Wolf. Everybody laughed at bucko drink. Look at them now. I mean, we knew the ship could perform, though. So this wasn't the one I'm worried about. Oh, look. Whoa. That's the that's the recycler, right? Oh, shit. Hang on. These give exhausted particles, don't they? If we could not destroy that, that'd be fantastic. How does this work? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't when you follow it up with the plasma volley. So hold on. This just will go through the ship and... Oh, it works like a fire. And it just dismantles it all. Okay, that's really, really cool. Done. Well, there's the weapon we're taking out. Um, lots of anti-entropic heating, so we keep that in one place. We've got so much salvage from this. Let's take out this tiny little ship off the bow. <laughs> oh, the overkill. It's just so great. So I think, I, I think given that we're trying to get as many exhausted particles as possible, that's what all of the Arco set level stuff dismantles into. I do want to drill right through the middle here, right? Try and get to this center section. We've got to be very careful not to destroy the pillar. I don't know what happens if we destroy the pillar. Whether a fresh one will spawn in or whether that's it. <laughs> you know, game over. You lose. Yep. Yeah, I, uh, we're certainly drilling through. 
Oh my god, yeah, no, that's working fine. God, that laser gun is cool, isn't it? That's the big spinal laser. I'm up for upgrading that more, you know, depending on how many resources we get from that. Gigantic spinal laser. They're always fun. That was pretty much exactly what I was after. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say we've dug through. Bucko, 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 bucko. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe chill. Maybe chill that. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, God, it doesn't like that. Oh, my eyes. Please stop firing. Oh, those heat sinks. The laser's just going to cut it in half. Look at the pirates, though. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. That spinal laser is so good. There you go. Okay. 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 Now we've got to do load up the shuttle, fly over, kill uh, kind of ridiculous amount of pirates, actually. How many are we up against here? 35. We've been up against worse odds and come out on top. And the best part is, I don't think we destroyed any of those heat sinks. 30 on that side. 35. Okay, so we took out five by accident, but that's it. We've, we've almost kept all of the valuable shit intact. Oh, bucko. We are going to be eating well tonight, my friend. Let's get on it. Let's get it. Keep every, uh, send everybody besides Bucko. Keep, keep Bucko on with the ship, of course. And then because we've cut a swath with the laser, we could just land right in the, right in the middle here. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I've learned my lesson. We'll land slightly off to the side. It's still firing. You've got to give them credit. You've got to give them credit. Can we set down just about there? That gives us plenty of cover. We can immediately retreat back into, into this area a little bit more. Catch them around the corner or something like that. This is going to be fine as long as we're fighting them, you know, only a couple at a time. Hello! Uh, yeah, you don't need to shoot those. That's unnecessary. Let's swing you guys around here. Give me the shuttle. I need to, I need to move the shuttle. Hey, all ass, all ass, all ass. Oh! Neo, what are you doing? Why are they toggling between taser and regular gun, you moron? Help me. My crew are idiots. And the captain's an idiot. And I'm an idiot. We're all doomed. We're actually, we're actually thoroughly doomed. Right, let's sit here. Uh, there is no possibility of escape if this goes tits up. We're done for at this point. Let me come back a little bit more. They've all got turrets on their shoulders, so these people have no shields. They're probably going to get... I mean, look, that's that right there is just the just the turret. So I think we're probably going to be fine. you got to think, this is like double firepower. Get him, squad. Get him, squad. I believe. Man, we are absolutely shredding them. That guy's fighting us with a beer bottle. Yeah, I think we're probably going to be okay. I'm not really that concerned, even though it looks a little... Looks a little risky. Looks a little dangerous. I think we're going to be completely fine. Oh, and of course, not to mention everybody's double shielded. So whenever you hear those... Those shields pop, really, we've got nothing to worry about. We just take a triple rocket launcher on the chin and walk it off. <laughs> Tis butter scratch. Get out of here. Yeah, you better run. Where are they running to? Are they trying to put out the fire? What, what are they doing? Beating fire out the ultimate distraction then we run in and we take them all out this is genius let's move the ship somewhere where we can potentially escape if things do go do go slightly badly here i wish they wouldn't shoot the turrets a little necessary right okay okay here we go here we go here we go and undraft and drop right you guys gonna have to be a bit more careful now because what have we got around here that's like one two three four slug turrets let's get up here try and secure this middle once we hold that we're good because we've got sandbags they're really not going to be able to stop us then. Are you seriously firing at the fucking laser turret and not the actual fucking turrets, you idiots? Well, if anything's going to kill us, it's going to be these also cannon turrets. Wowie, uh, back off, let your shields regenerate. Why are they shooting the fucking lasers? <laughs> wow. Okay, that thing worked good. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned about now is it might rip apart the whole station before we're done here. Okay, who's still got double shield? You've got double shield. You've got double shield. You've got double shield. Is it the sweatiest thing you're ever going to see me do in remote? I'm never going to do it again. Don't get used to it. Right, start firing. I'm, I might even dare say it. Maybe pop out a cover very slightly. Take him out from a distance. Or we could just close right in and work with their minimum range. Which, you know what? I think that'll actually work fine. Get in there. Uh, you two, let's swing you around this side. Let's... I'm going to do something really sweaty and I can only apologize for that. But I feel like we're at a disadvantage here, right? I'm going to uh, draft up the shuttle. <laughs> and I'm going to use the shuttle to bait out some of their turrets. Okay, come around this side. There you go, there you go, that's it. As long as the shuttle doesn't get entirely destroyed, I'm not bothered. Even if it does, we're here to win anyway, right? And then all I've got to do is toggle hover mode on and off, and they'll take the it'll take some of the heat. Oh, croom, 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 croom. This is, this is too sweaty. This is actually 
too sweaty for my liking. Uh, how close is that one to being destroyed? Okay, back up a little bit here. This is fantastic. Bucko's crew. We're, we're, we're the most well-trained combat crew going here. Everybody always complains that I don't use any sort of tactics. That's because the people haven't trained for it. We're all about roleplay here. Oh, Ken, 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 Ken. There you go. Oh, this is great. How, how are they? Uh, did all their crew get burnt up by the... No way. They all got destroyed by this. I mean, it certainly bloody looks like it, huh? Wow, that gun is very, very, very dangerous. And I think we need to be very careful with how we use it. I'm not quite sure I know what I've unleashed here. Ken is not in a good place, is he? Okay, that's all the turrets down with Ken, huh? Just hack it. Just hack it. Just just bring this bring this fight down. Kroom, get to work, my friend. This is the end right here. They're just shooting at turrets that really we haven't got to worry about within reason. I think it's entirely a, entirely a problem. God, Bucko would be so proud if he could see you right now. Why didn't I send Bingus? <laughs> Bingus as in the only one of our crew who actually can't die because they're a hologram. Fantastic. Uh, just astounding plays really all around, isn't it? Kroom, do it. Bring, bring it down, Kroom. This is all on you, my friend. You know what? I think they've actually done it. Or... Uh, or not. We... We're done? It counts as our ship. Alert mechanites. Yeah, I mean, that that is a concern, isn't it? I, I really don't think I can do much about that. So, um, here's the plan. We'll take this. That's mine now. Um, but it still counts as being in combat, though. I guess I can't salvage it. No, see, look, we're still, quote, unquote, in combat. We haven't won. Let's grab the pillar. Let's get the hell out of here. I feel like I might have accidentally unleashed the apocalypse. Red Fox! <laughs> Strategically, just just phenomenal. Really just incredible. Before I completely abandon ship, I want to see if we can get some... Uh, I want to see if we can actually get some exotic particles from this. Oh, we can! Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Haynes, you're going to die on me. You're absolutely not. We've got the pillar. Let's, let's, let's. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is cut off, right? So I say we start with this, th this stuff over here. We start with this shit. Take this apart. And then hopefully. Hopefully this mechanite will have to come all the way up here and, and loop back around, right? It's obviously not going to jump the gap or anything like that. I don't know. It might. I doubt it. Come on. Come on, load the shuttle! <laughs> ah, shit, shit, shit. Uh, maybe, maybe give up? There's two there, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to leave it, aren't we? Oh, Christ. And how far is it going around that side? We've still got a long time yet. Have oh, we got the pillar loaded? Too load, I could take pillar. Someone grab that! Red Fox! There you go, 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 there you go. Okay. Right, let's move our people back. We've certainly got time to take apart, like, another group like that. Because that's going to be so many shield generator upgrades, right? What are we looking at? Like, 60 exotic particles, almost? Put in complete. There you go. 60 exotic particles. One Arcotech Pillar Alpha. Get it out of here. And then we'll come back for everybody else after they've dismantled a little bit more, I guess. They're like, fucking go, though. Leave, 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 leave. Can't land on the bloody landing pad. Uh, fine, fine. Drop it as close as. Where's the door? Actually, where is an external door? Right there. That'll do. I wonder if we were to shoot the AI Persona call, whether it would count as a victory. That's a great idea. What if we just take it away? Because then it's not a ship anymore. Come on. Come on, Haynes. Come on, Haynes. It still counts as a ship. <laughs> ah! Oh, wait. They've still got a bridge. I wonder if... The is, that is that why this hasn't... Maybe, we maybe we've been able to salvage it all this time, but because there's another ship... Bucko, bucko, bucko. Give me, give me some laser guns. Give me, give me the laser gun. We might shoot our people with that one. Don't give me the laser gun. Give me some laser guns. Shoot that thing. Maybe that's what's stopping it from counting as a, as a victory. No. Nope. It, okay, it wasn't that. That's fine. <laughs> I feel a little bit better now knowing I didn't completely waste our time. Oh, I, I can't really show any more of this due to uh, epilepsy concerns. If you if you if you're unaffected by any sort of photosensitivity, carry on watching. But I wouldn't recommend it. For the next five seconds, I'll keep it up so you can see. Yeah, I mean it's not a pleasant gameplay experience, is it? My God. What?
No, 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 no. Like half of my crew just despawned. And the shuttle's gone. Are you... Like it... Oh... If I've just sat through... Yeah, they've all died. Like half the crew was just instantly killed for reasons that are beyond me. And now the caravan's gone. That's enough. <laughs> and everybody survived, didn't they? <laughs> so what happened there is because over half of the ship took damage, it, it was destroyed entirely, right? The hull was just completely destroyed by those mechanites. I wasn't expecting it to just instantly kill X amount of our crew, though. That does seem a little silly. The Omnicide's armor burnt off. You're taking it off in space? I I can feel my blood pressure rising. I can hear the fucking angels calling Omnissiah, you moron. Um, what do we do about that then? Because she's just straight up dead. Uh, it might be quicker to go through the wall. I, I'm in awe. That breathable? That's breathable. It's minus 102 degrees C, but it's breathable. Oh, I forgot to mention the Omnissiah is back. I loaded back in. She just, she just was back. She's human again. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this is all happening in Bucko's head. It's the pirate madness. Now that we know that we can destroy this and salvage it, we might still be able to get a good amount of exotic particles. I'm just going to fire everything. What the, what the hell's going on there? Our shield is broken due to lack of heat capacity. Oh, right, because that is technically our ship. Let's speed it up a little bit. And there it is right there, the full power of the Ice Wolf. Tearing apart an Archaeotech station as if it was nothing. That station tearing apart my crew like it's nothing. There we go. At long last. Thank you, little mechanos. That took way longer than I thought. Way longer than it should have. We, we completely ran out of power there towards the end, but the solar panels have just started ramping up again, so it'll all start, it'll all start turning back on. Wow, what a mess. I, I guess what we'll do is we'll turn off fueling on that, but we'll at least turn that back on until the... Solar panels are online. And I suppose let's get it salvaged. Let's see what we've ended up with here. Uh, five advanced components. Oh, you're so generous. 862! Oh! Really, really glad I didn't waste my time, uh, you know, individually loading those one by one into a spaceship. That would have been silly, wouldn't it? <laughs> let's take the uranium. Um... I'll take the gold, I'll take the silver. <laughs> Fucking 17,000 gold. This is so silly. Uh, shame about the advanced components because it does mean we have to craft those manually, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, what do we need? Like, plasteel? I can take a little bit of plasteel. Oh, I can take more than a little bit of plasteel. Let's take, uh, like, 3,000 plasteel. Um, yeah, I suppose I could be persuaded to top off on plasteel. Sod it, that'll do. What a joke. Okay, well, on the plus side, then. Hey, I, I set these. I even remembered to do it. I, I set these to not automatically refuel so that we could build those new shield generators with, uh, with the particles that we had. We don't got to worry about that anymore. We can get this thing fully fueled. We can get those fully fueled. We're untouchable. Wow, I'm, I'm genuinely in awe a little bit. What does the Arco Pillar do? That's probably a better question. Arco Pillar Alpha. A complex and bizarre apparatus which serves no human comprehensible purpose but which will apparently advance the plans of your architect's board in some way. Okay. Hello there. And then we just connect it. We just connect it up. Boom. There you go. And out of curiosity, what happens if we failed? Because it says there's no point building more than one pillar. I was curious if we could attack another station, just in case you accidentally destroyed that pillar or something. But I guess not. Otherwise, it would be a great way to farm up those particles. Wow. I, and I mean, look, even without that, we could probably replace every shield generator with these Arco shield generators, which are obviously way better. I assume they take up more power. Um, 25% heat loss. Whoa. Wow. Um, that's insane. And the anti-entropic heat sinks are four exotic particles each. We could build like 200 of those. Converts excess heat back into usable energy. That is insane. 0 0.5 seconds of heat is one kilowatt of power. 200 heat capacity. Or what is that compared to a regular heat sink? 
150, so it's better than a regular heat sink, but the capital heat sinks is still going to be better overall for heat dissipation. But if we're replacing our regular heat sinks with these, they're not only better, but we're getting power back. Uh, this, is, this is mad. I really should replace all of these with these uh, capital ship ones, and I'll do that at some point. That's so silly. We've done it. Like, this, this, is the, this, is, this is the peak. As if Bucko's ship already wasn't powerful enough, we've now got all our Kyotech shields everywhere. I've had to readjust them so that obviously we've still got our, our vents in the middle running fine. This is fully fueled and... Well, not fully fueled, but it was at one point fully fueled and going. I'm going to toggle off automatic fuel on that one. These are fully fueled and ready to go. And I've replaced some of the heat sinks in the middle as well. Like I said, I don't replace all of them. Um, but for the time being, that's, that's pretty decent. We'll try and replace all the small ones whenever I get a chance. I've thrown a few capital ship uh, heat sinks or large heat sinks, I think they're called now. But what I... I, I might have done a bit of a fucky-wucky when I first counted up because we've still got loads left i think i was looking at whatever we had in here but in the shuttle bay we still have loads more i just don't have anywhere to store them i mean this is a good problem to have right oh no i've got too many exotic particles i don't know what to build with them ah uh, is there even anything else to build like better capacitors no better torpedo tubes nothing there better spinal capacitor nothing either we need to be very careful with that other <laughs> with that other spinal capacitor we learned a valuable lesson today about this thing it's like a weapon of mass destruction i mean all of them all of them are, obviously. That's the that's the point. I appreciate that wasn't the smartest way to describe a literal weapon of mass destruction. Oh, and while I was building everything, I noticed that in the in this category here, you can build more of those pillars too. I don't know why you would do that, but I guess it is the case that if you attack the station and survive it, you then maybe unlock this as something you could build in the future. So we still have the tribal pillar, the insect pillar, and then the mechanoid pillar left to go. The mechanoid pillar we launch from a shuttle, right? When we've loaded some people into it. I think we could do the tribal pillar today. I don't see why not. If it's fighting a bunch of tribals on the planet, we'll be absolutely fine with the, with the crew that we've got. Well, here goes nothing. The transport pods have arrived. We've got to actually visit Star Totem site. Here we go, team. This might have been better to bring the miniguns, actually, in hindsight. But we don't have to worry about armored enemies. Hello? Oh, okay. Was well, this something? What's the betting hundreds of them are going to come out of that door? <laughs> uh, this doesn't look too terrible. I think we could... I think we'll be all right. This is fine. And bear in mind, again, all of them have those turret-mounted... Those shoulder-mounted turrets. So, effectively, we've got twice the firepower as it looks if we might have. If we can get there before they start coming out... Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, okay. Bring the ship forward. We might need to make an emergency escape if we get overwhelmed in, say, melee or something like that. Good luck, team. Good luck, team. Good luck. Here we go. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, drop the ship there. That'll do. Just in case we need to escape. Uh, you guys made me come down here. We're gonna have to give him the old the old run and gun for a while. Holy shit. Oh my god. Uh there are there are quite a few. <laughs> oh my god! What about those short amount of turrets? How do they work? Uh, do they have like a certain amount of ammo? No, I guess they don't, huh? I guess it's just the durability. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Okay, this could go well. Hey, you stay away from that ship. Oh, they're still coming. <laughs> Holy shit. And this is just one door? Oh, man. I just had to think what is on the other side of that. Could we Can we hit it with a sniper? Let's see if we can bring the door down, Dougie. Get some vision on what we're up against here. Oh! Holy shit. What? Oh, Lord. What is this? A oh, delicious human meat. Oh, thank you. Wow, this is kind of silly, isn't it? Uh, Maybe you line up more like... Oh, they're fleeing? Tribe people from memes. <laughs> It was the meme channel. They were the cannibal tribes people defending the final pillar. Of course they would be. Always a thorn in my side. The area is now safe. Uh, strongly disagree. Wow, there were a lot, huh? Well, that was that was pretty easy. How many bodies we leave behind there? Only 37. Really? So there was only about 70, maybe, in total? Crazy. I think those shoulder mounted turrets were a great call. I think they put in so much work. Now, I'm not sure that if if that's it, there might be some other challenges actually within, but I, I assume that's got to be more or less it for the most part, huh? Make sure the ship doesn't get damaged here. Uh, hello? Oh, there it is. Oh. Ooh, treasure. What have you got? Jade. Like a little bit of silver. Not even really worth going for. Okay, there it is. Wow. Arco Pillar Gamma. Um, how do we take it, though? I guess we've got to wait for all the enemies to go before we can... Maybe, maybe I can just designate it for an install. 
Save a lot of time there? No, unfortunately not. Oh, it's because it's still technically hostile on the map. All right, we'll wait for little Toad to go, and then that should be everything. We might just be able to build one on the spaceship now that we've, uh... One? I don't know if one is the right word. I feel like nobody won anything there. Now people won the ability not to be able to sleep at night. <laughs> Ah, there you go, there you go, there you go. And boom, claim and uninstall. Well done, team. Halfway to victory. Now, I think it's fairly safe to say that those were arguably the easiest four-hour crew. So the other one is, of course, going to be a much harder combat scenario. Fighting insects in a cave, some sort of grand hive. That's going to be far harder than fighting some tribals in an open field where we've got ridiculous amount of firepower and armor they're never going to get through. An insect swarm might be a different kettle of fish. And then after that, of course, we have the combination battle on the moon versus... And, and, and simultaneously a battle in space against a mechanoid ship for the other pillar. So today we're definitely the two easiest pillars, in my opinion, to to grab. What are you doing here? Oh, you were emptying... You were just leaving loads of water behind. What the hell? It was some bizarre ritual. <laughs> Shuttles must be purely fueled to travel to or from orbit. Right, you see there's a slight issue there, don't you? You see there's a slight issue there. Shit. Uh, can we build like a pod? Just send down some fuel, otherwise my people are trapped. We won at what sick cost while all of our crew disappearing. Ah. Uh, I'm sure just a drop pod. I, I, I'm 90% I'm sure a drop pod works if you just place it on this, this platform here. I never thought these words would come out of my mouth, but thank God for Bingus. Because without Bingus, we wouldn't be able to build anything because Bucko's incapable of it. Without Bingus, our people would be legitimately trapped until they built a machining table and some more fuel pods. That's incredible. Uh, to clarify, they might still be trapped. I have no idea. Because we're not... I mean, would I have to load Bucko in? Can we just send the fuel? Here. Yeah. I don't know how much they need. Is that enough? What do, what do you need? What's that noise? Is that the shuttle? Oh! What the hell was even that? And thanks to this friendly little crab, we have the alpha and gamma pillars. Tomorrow, tomorrow maybe we can finish things. Maybe, maybe this is the, the final chapter of Bucko's adventures. As I said before, I fully expect it to be much harder. Like, much, much harder. So I think we'll aim big tomorrow. We'll, we'll kick things off just immediately. Open up with that mechanoid assault. Because then it's just insects. And then I can enjoy wiping them out as a nice cathartic ending to everything. My god, I can't believe it's come this far. Everybody laughed at my ship. They all laughed at my ship, said it was terrible. Now look at us. Untouchable. Thank you all for watching today's adventures of Bucko Drink. Apologies about the audio at the start of the episode. Hopefully, hopefully it wasn't too bad. Hopefully I <laughs> don't know, edited around it. I, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with that. See you all tomorrow for what will potentially be the final one of his adventures. Very excited to see what this mechanoid assault is going to be. Probably going to be quite taxing, uh, and it's probably going to be a complete mess, so don't get your hopes up. Thank you to the patrons. Once again, patrons, over the past week, thank you all for your patience. I haven't responded to any messages for a long time on there just because I've been swept off my feet, uh, both literally and physically, uh, <laughs> over the past week because of the whole stinky sewage situation uh at least hasn't been home for the past week she got back yesterday so we're going to start going through all the patreon list later and getting that all updated specifically didn't respond to anybody because i didn't want to upgrade the list to march's list and accidentally miss anybody off so thank you for bearing with me on that one and we'll be back on that as soon as possible but in the meantime a thank you to speedy sabat beta soldier knickknack accidental king emily squinty chimera lord condog Bobka, GJ, Jama, Spongy1312, Josh Lunt, Takedown, Relic, Slickback, Bludus, and Gogolus for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you for thank you for your support. Thank you for making Bucko possible. It's much appreciated. Thank you as well to Sangri, Salakin J, Ebon Dragon323, Mellow, Donald, Oz the Wizard of, Maya, Spoonie, Lilac, Garnuba, Scrugback, the Blood Soaked. Remdul, Master, Magister, Militum, Ben Taylor, Rave Pyra, and Blood for the Blood God. See you all tomorrow. Very excited to see what this is all about.